Now we'll talk about cannabidiol or CBD. This is an increasingly popular drug, which has some evidence as potentially useful for psychiatric disorders. So we'll talk about that and about recommendations. CBD represents the cannabinoid constituent of cannabis or marijuana. It is sold in various different forms. For example, an oil that contains only CBD but no THC. It may also be obtained as a full plant CBD dominant hemp extract oil, or it may be bought in capsule form in dried cannabis or as a liquid solution. It is sold openly in most states and is increasingly accessible to the general public. Interestingly, CBD is approved for treatment of certain medical conditions. For example, in Canada and Sweden, it's approved for treating pain related to multiple sclerosis. In the U.S., CBD is approved for certain childhood epilepsy disorders. CBD is thought to work by multiple mechanisms, including serotonergic ones. Thus, it may have applications in different psychiatric disorders. Its side effects are varied but generally benign. Sleepiness has been reported, as has uh, decreased appetite, diarrhea, fatigue, malaise, weakness, and insomnia. However, no serious intoxicating effects have been reported. There has been a recent systematic review of cannabis products by Jerome Saris and colleagues, and I'll summarize the key points from this review. By and large, the review was supportive of CBD as potentially helping to reduce symptoms of social anxiety. For other conditions such as schizophrenia, the evidence was mixed but mainly positive. There was also limited evidence for CBD in terms of treatment of insomnia and PTSD. There was no evidence of benefit for CBD in mania. Finally, there was some evidence of efficacy for an oral combination of cannabinoids and terpenes in ADHD. What recommendations can we make regarding CBD? By and large, caution should be exercised with any formulations that include high levels of THC, which can be more intoxicating. This is particularly important if it's a young person using it or somebody with an anxious or a psychotic disorder. As with many of these drugs, it's recommended to start low and go slow, titrate gradually. Dosing of CBD can be complex depending on the type of formulation and delivery system that you're using. Research reports have generally focused on doses ranging from 200 to 800 milligrams a day, so it may make sense to start somewhere in that range. A patient receiving CBD should be regularly assessed by their psychiatrist to make sure that they are doing okay and not having any potential adverse effects. It is advisable to exercise caution in people with cardiovascular or respiratory disorders. And likewise, it's important to be very careful in women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Finally, it's important to take into account occupational safety. If the individual, for example, works with heavy machinery in a job where they could injure themselves or other people, it's important to make sure that they are not impaired in any way when at work. To illustrate the potential use of CBD, we'll look at our third patient, whom we call William. So William is a 25-year-old man with schizophrenia. His condition manifests in part by social anxiety, especially in larger groups, such as in the day program where he participates. He takes risperidone, which controls his symptoms pretty well, but he is unable to tolerate higher doses because he gets side effects. His psychiatrist added a low dose of CBD to his regimen, and the result of this was better control of his psychotic symptoms, a notable reduction in social anxiety, and the ability to engage a little better when participating in the groups in his day program. I'll summarize this section with three key points. CBD is an increasingly popular drug with potential psychiatric applications, including in some anxiety and psychotic disorders. Nonetheless, caution is required when using CBD, particularly in individuals who have certain medical conditions, 
And also caution should be exercised in women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Finally, particular caution needs to be taken if a patient is using a CBD preparation that contains THC, which could pose the risk of more serious adverse effects.